Hello everyone, this is Lin Fu from Stanford University. The title of my presentation is Radio Dissemination of Intersecting Shockwave Turbulent Boundary Interactions in Hypersonic Flow Regimes. I collaborated with Sanjeev Bose and Pavis Moin from Stanford University Center for Turbulence Research. This project has been funded by NASA and the Air Force. So we pick up the heat transfer problem in three-dimensional intersecting shockwave turbulent boundary layer interactions with a double fan geometry. The Mach number is uh, 8.45 with fully turbulent boundary layer. The, the, the void is isothermal and cooled with respect to the free stream uh, total temperature. We deploy the TARS software developed by Cascade Technologies. We try to assess and improve the one model areas with equilibrium assumption for quantitative predictions of heat flux distributions in hypersonic flows. We also investigate the one and the, and the semi-local scaling for computing the turbulence eddy viscosity of one model. In this slide, we show the computational geometry and the mesh topology based on the Warner diagram. In the bottom, we show that we have less than 40 points inside the turbulent bundle layer ahead of the double fan, and the grid is 400 times coarser than a range mesh. In plus unit, uh, Y plus unit, the in plus unit, the frost cell grid resolution varies between 10 and 150. We compare the center line pressure and heat flux distributions with the experimental data, and you can see from the top the warm model areas predicts the pressure distribution currently and the peak heat flux with 5% discrepancy. On the bottom, you can see that the range simulation typically over predicts the peak heat flux by 20%. We study the effects of the warm model eddy viscosity scaling, and you can see that the semi-local scaling performs significantly better than one the rest of scaling for predicting the pressure and heat flux distribution. We also examine the spanwise pressure profiles at a different streamwise locations, and you can see that uh, the warm model areas prediction agrees with the experimental data pretty well. A more critical statistic is the spanwise heat flux distributions, and you can see that for all three different cases, the warm model areas results agree with the experimental data, and the run simulation with uh, zero equation BR model and, and the two equation KIMS model over predict the uh, peak heat flux by, by 100%. We also examine the flow structure on the bottom wall. Uh, you can see that the warm model areas predicted skin friction lines agrees uh, with the RANS prediction and the experimental sketch pretty well. By analyzing the skin friction line con uh, configuration, we also observe the primary flow suppression and also the secondary flow suppression close to the center line, which is very small scale. With warm model areas, we not only capture the large scale flow suppression between the two fins, we, but we also capture the, the small scale uh, tablets eddies. We further examine the flow structure on the side fin. Uh, there exists uh, a small scale flow suppression induced by the shock impingement on the side fin. And you can see that the warm model areas prediction agrees with the experimental sketch pretty well. I want to mention that the RAN simulation with K emission model typically fails to, fails to capture the small scale shock induced flow suppression. To summarize my presentation, warm model areas is capable of predicting the mean pressure and heat flux distributions currently for flows with strong pressure gradients and complex geometries. The heat flux predictions from warm model areas show better agreement with experimental data than those from previous reported run simulations. The warm model areas performance is substantially enhanced by deploying the semi-local scaling in the near wall eddy viscosity model. The Formidable combination of low dispatch numerics and high quality grid with warm model areas delivers accurate prediction of hypersonic flows. If you are interested in the details, please check our online preprint paper. Thank you.